Hello, my name is Tim Shoebridge and welcome to this video, hopefully quite a short video. Uh, all I want to do with this video is to sort of like go through the basics of how you get your Minilog XD or your Prolog or any other core product for that matter to communicate via a USB cable to your Windows 10 PC. Um, actually, this is not a specific issue with Windows 10. It can be uh, an issue with any version of Windows, but it seems to be most, most prolific with Windows 10. So uh, that's what we're concentrating on here. So um, I've got in front of me a Windows 10 PC, which is a good start, isn't it? And I've got to my left here a, uh, the Korg Minilog XD. I have not installed any of the software that I need to uh, on the PC to get it to talk to the XD. I thought I'd do that sort of with you. Uh, and let's see if we uh, we hit upon any issues as we go along. So the first thing that we need to do is to go to the Korg uh, website. Uh, as you can see here, this is the main page of the Korg website. Um, and we need to go to products, synthesizers, scroll down through a long, long list until we get down to, there we are, analog synthesizers. Click on the Minilog XD. And now here uh, on this little sort of menu here that we got towards the bottom, click on Librarian and Contents. That just jumps us down to the right place on this web page, um, where we can see it talks about the librarian, um, and it gives us some download links for the librarian, as well as something called the Korg MIDI USB driver. So the librarian is what we install on our PC. It's where we organize our presets, uh, use oscillators and effects. We can uh, download them from our synth um, and play around with them, and we can then upload them again. But that librarian software doesn't talk directly to our synthesizer. It goes via a driver, and that driver is the thing that handles all the USB communication. So the first thing we need to do is install this USB driver and then once we've installed it, then we go with the librarian software afterwards. So let's start off with this, uh, this driver. So I click on this link. Um, now, from experience of doing this on another PC, I know that it takes quite a while for this page to come up. It's going to take us to a downloads page, eventually. Soon. Any minute now. This is the point where I tell you a joke or something. Keep you occupied. Oh, come on. Finally. Good. Right. <laughs> Don't know why it takes so long. Uh, this is the download page for the Minilog XD. This is where you get everything, manuals, software, drivers, and other stuff. Um, so here we are in the driver section, the Minilog Korg USB MIDI driver for Windows 10. That's the one that I want. So click on it. Takes us to another page, Windows 10. Let's get all the way down the bottom. You see, this is what, look at this huge great list of products. This is all the products that this one single driver will work with. So this is not a Minilog XD problem. Um, it's not a Prolog problem. It's actually the driver problem. Um, but as you can see, there's an awful lot of pieces of hardware that it uses. Let's get down to this part here. Click on that. And now I can actually download it. Let's run it. Give it permission to run. Right, so this is the installation uh, screen for the driver. Click OK. And then next, accept the terms and conditions. Next. Right, so this is something to make a note of. This is the sort of default folder where it will install um, the driver software. So for me, on my 64-bit Windows um, computer, it's going to put it in this, this particular folder here. Uh, we'll need to go to that folder in a little while 
um, and I'll explain why when we get there. So let's just say next, uh, go with a typical installation, next, uh, and it's done it. Finish. Right, now that it's done it, let's go to that folder. So I'm gonna run up the file explorer, go to my C drive, go to program files x86, go to the Korg folder. In there we've got the Korg USB MIDI driver folder. And this is what it's just installed just now. There's a couple of little uh, tools in here, little applications that we're going to need. Well, there's one in particular that we're gonna need. And it's this one down the bottom here. It's called uninstdruv. It's an application uh, an XE, um, and it stands for uninstalled driver. Now I'm not gonna, maybe I'm not going to, I don't actually want to uninstall the driver because I've just installed it. But what this uh, little utility does is it allows us to see the driver. So I'm just gonna run it, say yes, go next. Right, so here you can see um, a list of MIDI drivers. And this is the thing with Windows. Windows maintains a list of MIDI drivers. Um, here, we've got the first sort of 10 slots, the first 10 entries. It starts at zero, one, two, three, four, up to, up to nine. Um, I actually haven't got many uh, Windows, uh, sorry, MIDI drivers installed here at all, um, which is good, which means that uh, the, uh, the Korg MIDI driver is going to work because the issue with this MIDI uh, driver from Korg is that if it's not on this first page, if it's not in the first 10 slots, then it won't work. Um, so it all depends on your particular hardware, your PC, uh, what other things you've installed, what video card you've got in it, what, what uh, uh, sorry, graphics card you've got in it, what uh, audio card you've got in it, etc because all of those sort of components in your computer may or may not add uh, MIDI drivers in here. And if you go past, as I said, 10, and the Korg one is gonna get installed in slot, you know, 11, 12, whatever it is, then it just won't work. So we're lucky with this particular PC. Um, the driver will work because the next available slot is slot number seven here. Well, it's actually the eighth slot because it starts at zero, but the eighth slot is free. Um, but if we were unlucky, uh, <laughs> then we'd have to do some fiddling around. So the actual, the Korg driver doesn't appear in this list yet. And the reason for that is because I actually haven't connected up via the cable, my mini log XD and switched it on because as soon as I do that, uh, then Windows will actually recognize that there's a Korg product attached via USB and it'll put the driver in the right slot. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna cancel out of this utility. And I'm gonna do that. The cable's already in place, but the XD hasn't been switched on. So I'm now switching it on. It's gotta go through its little tuning thing. This is where I tell you another joke. Uh, and then once it's gone through its tuning, now okay now um, I'm pretty sure that in the background there uh, the PC will have loaded the driver and put it in the list of MIDI drivers so if we run this um, utility again click on next there you go phew it worked so it's now put the Korg Minilog XD in there in slot number eight or the eighth slot like that. Now let's assume, for the sake of argument, um, that it wasn't on this first page. It ended up being on a second page. If there were more than 10 drivers in use here, I think you'd get a little next button or an arrow button and you'd be able to go and look at the subsequent page. Let's just assume that it's not on this page um, because the fact that it's on this page means I know it'll work. If I install the library and software, it'll all work and I won't be able to show you it's not working. Um, so let's assume that it's not working and we want to move our driver, our Korg driver, further up the list, get it onto this front page. Now the way that we have to do that is to free up one of these slots on this page. 
Now there's some things here on this page that I recognize because I've installed um, software um, and there are things that I don't recognize at all. Um, this one here, Motu USB MIDI device. Um, this is Mark of the Unicorn. That's my main MIDI uh, interface that I have on my PC. Um, and uh, I installed that software myself. Um, and this one here, Focusrite USB MIDI. Uh, I've got a, a Focusrite um, audio interface. So that's what that relates to. Now, all of these USB MIDI uh, interfaces, we can remove them from this list uh, without any problem at all because as soon as you plug that device back in and switch it on, uh, as we just saw with the Korg driver, it gets reinstalled automatically um, and it gets reinstalled into the next sort of available slot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall um, my Korg Minilog XD driver. I'm going to uninstall, let's choose this Focusrite one here, so I create uh, an available slot and then when we reinstall our Korg Minilog XD driver, we should see it jump up to this sixth slot here, slot number five, the sixth slot in the list. So the first thing you've got to remember to do is to turn off your XD or unplug the USB cable, one or the other. I'm going to turn it off. Um, and I'm going to uninstall this driver by clicking on it, choosing Next. It says, are you sure? I say, yes. It's removed it. So let's choose finish, go back into the tool, just to show you that it's now gone. It was there in that uh, eighth slot, MIDI seven slot here, it's now gone. I'm gonna do the same um, for this Focusrite one because what I wanna do is free up this slot and show you that I can put my Korg uh, MIDI driver in that slot instead. So by default with this tool, you can't uninstall anything other than the Korg driver. You have to go into Option, untick this box, click OK, and now we've got the ability to uninstall any of these um, USB MIDI drivers. So as I said, I'm going to choose this Focusrite one. Uh, just make sure that whichever one you are going to uninstall, um, it is a USB driver and it's one that um, you're not got plugged in and switched on at the time that you do this. So I'm going to uninstall that one, choose next. Yes, I really do want to go ahead. It's done it. Let's close it. Let's go back into it again, just to check. Uh, and there you can see that this is where my Korg driver was and it's gone. And here's the empty slot now where the Focusrite driver was and it's gone. So now if I were to reinstall uh, the Korg driver, it should now take this first available slot, um, which would be on my first, you know, in, on the first page of drivers, which means it would now work. So let's do that. Now, the simplest way of reinstalling your Korg driver is simply just to turn your Korg Minilog XD back on and make sure that the cable is attached. So we'll exit out of this again, wait for the XD to go through its tuning process. Uh, once it's finished, we'll see that Windows puts that driver back in the list in the first available slot. Let's see what it's done. And there you go. It's now in slot number five. So although I didn't need to do anything because the driver was already on this first page in the list, uh, if yours is not, then this is the process find something that you can safely uninstall um, and then switch on your Minilog XD and it'll find that, that free slot. Uh, that's really all there is to it, to getting this thing to work. Now this list of drivers uh, is maintained in what's called the registry, uh, which is the sort of the Windows system storage area on your hard drive uh, where all Windows settings are stored. Um, everything that Windows needs to know about, all your applications, all your drivers, all the settings that it needs to worry about. Uh, the registry is a very large and complex storage space 
um, there is a, a utility that comes with Windows that allows you to look in the registry as well as actually update it, delete things and modify things. It's called Reg Edit. Uh, stands for Registry Editor. Um, I really would not recommend that you fiddle around in your registry uh, using that utility unless you really absolutely 100% know what you are doing and understand the risks of deleting something that you shouldn't be deleting because you can literally stop Windows from working. Um, but this list that you can see here of MIDI drivers is just in that registry somewhere. It doesn't look as neat and tidy and as simple inside the um, the registry, but it is possible to use RegEdit and, and remove entries from this MIDI list the same way that this tool does it. Uh, but this tool is just very, very simple. So that's really all I wanted to show you, how to uh, move your Korg MIDI USB driver up the list so it's on this front page. And once it's on that front page, it will work, unless you've got some other problem. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching.